All right, so x to the seventh means x times itself seven times. And when we're taking the square root, we're looking for groups of two, groups of size two, or pairs. So there are three pairs, well, and one left over, right? So the uh, three pairs come out of the radical, break free from the jail as an x cubed, and the leftover x stays underneath. Wow, that is pretty neat, actually. So this is like maximum security. Right. You need, well, when we have higher indices, I like to think of those as the higher security prisons. Square root's kind of the lower security. You only need one part, one buddy to break free from jail with. So, All you need is so let's take a look at uh, some examples. Example one is the square root of 75 x cubed. So we take the square root of 75, similar to what we've been doing. We can break that into 3 and 25. Five and five. I'm not recording my notes or anything. It's okay. Is your hand broken? Yeah, I okay. broke my hand. Shoot. Why is it slow? Who knows? All right. So we have the pair of fives. They break free. I'm leaving some space here for my variable. So if we're looking at the square root of x cubed, you can kind of write that off to the side. A little scrap work there. We've got one pair that breaks free. And we have one x left over. Should be three x. Yeah, our leftover three goes underneath, and our leftover x goes underneath. Technically, we should have some absolute value symbols around this x. Because we would never get a negative result, but if we plugged in a negative value for x at this point, without the absolute value symbols, the result would be negative. So those absolute value symbols are important. Example two, square root of 18 x to the ninth. Simplify a square root of 18, so it's 9 and 2, 3 and 3. A pair of 3's comes out, breaks free. Leave some room for my variable. 2 is left over, stays underneath. x to the ninth. Another way to think about this is divide the exponent by the index. What's the index if there's no number there? 2. So what's 9 divided by 2? 4. So x to the 4th would break 3. So if I were to write out all my x's, I would find 4 pairs. And then how many would be left over? 4 times 2 is 8. And then there would be 1 left over. So that 1 left over stays underneath. So it's kind of like long division, doing it in your head. 2 goes into 9 4 times, and then 4 times 2 is 8. Subtract the 8. We have a remainder of 1. So the, the remainder is like our leftover. It's the one that stays underneath. You can also always revert back to the definition of exponents. And Write out all your x's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Make pairs. Four pairs, one left over. Example 3. Cube root, x to the fourth, y to the sixth. So we have the cube root. So looking at x to the 4th, how many times is 3 going to 4? Uh, 
just once, right? With one left over? Yeah. And then y to the 6. 6 divided by 3? 2. It's 2. So y squared breaks free. Two more examples to go. So we have example four. Fourth root of 256 x to the eighth. If you remember from our opener, we did the fourth root of 256. Yeah. You can plug that into your calculator again using that math uh, menu, number five. It's four. It's four, good. And now. 8 divided by 4 two. is 2, so just x squared comes out. Everybody breaks free. There's a whole jailbreak here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Last one. Example 5, square root of 54, a to the 11th over 81. Two. Anybody see a place you want to start on this one? Me too. Start where I'm confident. So I know uh, that this breaks into square root of 54, a to the 11th over the square root of 81. Square root of 81, I, I know that one. That's 9. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that square root of 54 and do my little scratch work over here. 54, break that down. 6 times 9. 2 times 3, 3 times 3, looking for pairs, pair of threes. So that's what breaks free, the 3 breaks free here. And then the 2 times the 3, 6, stays under the radical. And then dealing with the a to the 11th, we're doing 11 divided by, by my index of 2. So 11 divided by 2. 2 goes into 11 five times with one left over. If you think about 11 divided by 2, 2 goes in five times with one left over. Or, like I said, you can write out all the A's, 11 of them. Or maybe you're just picturing that, all 11 of them. Oh, there's that one left over. Am I done? Not done. 3 and 9 have a common factor of 3. So divide numerator and denominator by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so they cancel out. a to the 5th, radical 6a, over 9 divided by 3 is 3. And now that's my final answer. And that's our lesson on simplifying radicals with variables. Ooh, ooh.